हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी अनदर न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन एट्रिब्यूट डाटा हियर वी आर गोइंग टू प्लॉट अ सी चार्ट सो बिफोर प्लॉटिंग टू दिस चार्ट आई रिक्वेस्ट एवरीवन टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकॉन टू गेट मोर नोटिफिकेशन नाउ गाइस वी विल सी व्हाट इज मीन बाय कंट्रोल चार्ट the main purpose of the control chart to indicate whether the process is under control or need to be reset as the product we are producing samples of one or more atoms are drawn from that batch and check for the quality the characteristics being controlled and the results plotted on the chart if the sample characteristics are within the limit specified on the control chart the process is under statistical control and any dispersion in the data is duly purely on random causes no corrective action need to be taken and the products will have acceptable quality if points are falling outside the control limits it indicates the presence of assignable causes which need to be investigated and set right so there are two types of chart we can plot based on variable data and attribute data variable data there we are measuring all the dimensions of the part and based on that we are plotting chart for the variable and there are another attribute data based on that we are plotting the chart based on either we are getting the conformance limit or non conformance limit so there is a possibility that in the attribute data we are getting the change in the causes based on the chance causes or assignable causes so based on that the control chart patterns defines based on the assignable causes and based on the chance causes assignable causes means unnatural causes and chance causes means natural or random causes based on that we have to get the change in the pattern for the either variable chart or attribute chart first what is the attribute chart that we are going to see we have seen inspection by attributes mean separating the parts into acceptable and acceptable unacceptable lots based on the inspection methods in which no measurement is done or no quantitative value of any characteristics is obtained in variable data we are getting quantitative value characteristics but in attribute data we are not getting any quantitative characteristics so based on that we are getting the different chart like p chart c chart n p chart u chart earlier we have seen some numerical problem based on attribute data for that link you can see in the description box or in suggestion link so inspection by attributes becomes necessary for two reasons the volume of products is so large that quantitative measurements of any dimension or characteristics is very time consuming and inconvenient to handle second reason is what some of the product characteristics though important are not possible to be quantitatively measured typical example that we are going to see that is the color of the product taste of of a preparation clarity of an image presence of spatter or aesthetic views so based on that the control chart of attributes having good advantages against the variables that the chart are easier to construct less time and effort is needed to obtain the necessary data for this chart and the chart are easy to interpret and explain and another most important advantage is that it is suitable for all types of applications so based on that attribute data either depends upon the conformance or non conformance based on that either we get the defects or defectives so there is a difference between defects and defectives that inspection by attributes divide the products into acceptable and unacceptable products the unacceptable products are called as defectives an item is called as defective if it is just 
to not able to perform the function that is for this it is designed or it is not likely to be ex acceptable by the customer for any reasons. The failure of an item to pass inspection may be due to one or more defects in the finished product. Some of these defects may not even identifiable to go and no go type of gauges and may not be identified by virtual inspection. We can get the typical examples like type of defects including pattern or color, then presence of spatter on the surface of welded joint or pinhole porosity in casting. So this control chart by attributes drawn in terms of number of defectives per lot or number of defects in each article inspected. So based on that we are going to see the attribute chart based on the number of defects. For that we are using C chart. C chart is a control chart drawn for studying the number of defects per unit of the product. This chart is useful to a certain variation in quality of a particular characteristics in small lots where certain number of defects per unit can be tolerated. There are some conditions for drawing the C chart. The area over which defects can occur should be fairly constant. And second condition is that the opportunity for existence of defects should be large. There are some applications where we are using C chart that number of defects such as blowholes, cracks, rail tears in a casting, number of defects on a sheet of a paper or a roll of a photograph. We can use the C chart in number of surface imperfections on a fixed area of cloth. We can use for errors in printed pages or we can use this C chart in air pocket in classway. So there are some advantages for using this C chart. Now we are going to see how to plot that C chart based on one numerical problem. So this is the problem in which the number of defects found in each sample of a cloth for one square meter area are shown below. Draw the appropriate control chart and state whether the process is in control or not. Here which chart we have to draw that is not defined in the problem itself. But based on the number of defects we can see that we are going to plot the C chart. Now for the samples and how many defects are found that is given for this cloth of one square meter area. So for the 12 samples number of defects found that is given. So for that we have to plot the control chart and we have to define based on that control chart whether the process is in control or not. For that first we have to calculate the mean number of defects per unit. So in the step one we have to calculate the mean number of defects per unit. How to calculate? That is a C bar or it is called as a center line for the C chart. We can calculate based on total number of defects which are found upon total number of items inspected. We found the total number of defects. If we summation for the defects of C then total number of items inspected means number of samples that is 12. So if we add how many defects we are getting for the samples that 8, 9, 5, 8, 5, 9, 9, 11, 8, 7, 6, 4 divided by we have sample size of 12 then 89 total number of defects we found when we inspect 12 number of samples then we are getting the mean number of defects per unit that is 7.42 that is the, our center line of a control chart. So based on that we got the control center line but we have to calculate two limits that is upper and lower control limit and based on that we have to check whether all the defects are falling in between these two limits or not. If not then what is the possibility that the process will not be in statistical control if they are falling in between these two limits then process is in 
statistical quality control. So before that, we have to calculate the two limits. First is the upper control limit. There is a formula that is mean number of defects plus 3 into under root C bar. If we put the value of C bar into this equation, that C bar value is 7.42. If you put this in this equation, we are getting the upper control limit for the C chart that is 15.59. That is the upper control limit value. Similarly, we can find the lower control limit value. For that, there is a formula C bar minus 3 into under root C bar. If we put this value of C bar in this equation, we are getting the lower control limit value that is minus 0.75. But we have seen the number of defects, whatever the defects we are found, either it can be 0 or 1. So we are we are not getting the defects value in minus or integer. So that lower control limit value will be we are considering at 0 because number of defect cannot be negative. So we got two limits value upper control limit value and lower control limit value and we have calculated the center line value based on that we can plot the control chart so last step is to plot the control chart on the x axis sample number and on the y axis the defects which are found so we got the center line that is 7.42 c bar upper control limit that is 15.59 and lower control limit that is 00. So for this sample number of defects which are found based on that we have to plot the control chart and whatever the defects which are found if you plot in between for the sample number then we have to check whether the points or number of defects which are we got for the one square meter of cloth either they are falling between this upper control limit and lower control limit on not. So if we plot this, we are getting this plot like this. For sample number 1, we got 8 number of defects. For sample number 2, we got 9. Sample number 3, 5. Sample number 4, 8. Sample number 5, 5. Sample number 6 and 7, 9. Sample number 8, 11. Sample number 9, 8. Sample number 10, 7. Sample number 11, 6. And sample number 12, 4. So, if you join this point, then whatever the plot we are getting, whatever the pattern of a control chart we are getting, we can see all the parts are lying in between these two limits. So, we can conclude that whatever the control chart we have plot for the number of samples samples for the number of defects which are found based on that we can conclude that the process is in statistical control so what is the use of this control chart or c chart in the quality rating for some of the products all types of defects are not equally important in such case it is sometimes desired to use c chart for rating the product considering the nature of defects found in them and today it is necessary to classify defects into various categories. We can classify based on that like class A defects, class B defects, class C defects and class D defects. Class A defects which signifies critical on various serious defects. These are the defects that will render the products totally unuseless or cause serious damage to personal or equipment. We can classify defects into class B, that is a major defects. These are all defects that will cause considerable customer dissatisfaction, shorten the product life in required extensive servicing. Class C defects like modularity service defects, they have effect on similar class B but lesser degree. And class D defects, minor defects like defects of workmanship finish or appearance that are not considered serious so each class of defects is then give a weightage proportionate to the expected consequence 
on a product quality based on that we can use this c chart for the quality rating so we have seen the control chart for the attribute data based on the numerical problem we have plot the c chart how the c chart is used in the quality rating that we have seen if you like it please stay connected and don't forget to subscribe my channel click on bell icon to get more notification if you want to cover any topic regarding the any domain you can put that in comment box you can check the different playlist here there we can upload it some videos regarding the gate preparation so you can see that playlist thank you thank you very much